Hemorrhoids are arteriovenous cushions which serve to maintain the fine continence of the anus. Recently, novel and interesting discoveries have been made concerning the vessel supplying blood to these cushions. The traditional theory that hemorrhoidal arteries are located in set positions, for example, at 3, 7, and 11 o'clock, has now been disproved by new studies showing that the course of these arteries is much more random. During the last few years, the rectal arteries have been the subject of considerable scientific attention. A study published in 2008 showed that the superior rectal artery is in fact the only artery of any significance supplying the hemorrhoidal cushions. Here it can also be seen that the number of smaller arterial branches in the corpus cavernosum recti differ greatly from patient to patient. The same also goes for the position of the rectal arteries in the hemorrhoidal cushions. In summary, it can be said that neither the number nor the position of the rectal arteries is predictable. This fact plays an important role in explaining the success of the HAL method. A study investigating the diameter of the large rectal arteries as well as the blood flow also reveals a second important factor. The results of this study show that in patients with hemorrhoidal disease, these arteries are almost twice as large in diameter, with a blood flow three times greater than in healthy patients. This leads us to conclude that the increased arterial supply is responsible for the development of abnormally large hemorrhoids. Differentiating between the different grades of hemorrhoidal disease is important for determining the most suitable treatment. According to the Goliger classification, there are four different grades. However, for the purposes of this DVD, we simply refer to the low and high grades of hemorrhoids. Low corresponds to grade 1 and grade 2 of the Goliger classification. Those stages of the disease where the hemorrhoidal cushions generally remain inside the anal canal. High grades of hemorrhoids, that is, grade 3 and 4, are characterized by hemorrhoidal tissue prolapsing out of the anal canal, whereby grade 3 hemorrhoids can still be pushed back into position.